Hi there, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to draw a tree in Anime Studio. Tutorial. Alright, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on the layer and I name it tree, click OK. Then I'm going to choose a color and I'm going to choose the color green for now and I change the line width to 1.5 and then I take uh, the blob brush tool right here and with the blob brush tool uh, you can uh, paint uh, a form on the on the screen and as you can see there's a red transparent uh, circle uh, on it right now and if I click if I hold alt and I move uh, to the right you see it becomes bigger and if I move to the left it becomes smaller so I'm just going to keep it like this for now and if I hold in the mouse and I move you see it paints a green uh, green paint right here and I'm just going to paint an object so it looks like a bunch of leaves from the tree like this make sure you have you fill the whole object right here there we go and if I take the transform points tool you now see we have created a object the leaves for the tree so that's the first thing now we are going to uh, draw the tree trunk and for that I take the add point tool um, you don't need to have sharp corners on right now I'm going to choose the color uh, brown right here and I'm just going to draw the tree trunk right here like this like this and we are going to fix the corners in a minute move it right here and then like this and then like this there we go so now of course we need to fix the corners first uh, if I deselect the object and then take the curvature tool I just hold my mouse click on it and move to the left so they become sharper and I'm going to do that with all of them right now like this this one right here and this one and then I move the points uh, a bit where I want them so it looks better kinda like this move this one a bit here this one right there and right here we have to fix fix it a little bit like this and then I maybe I move the leaves a bit higher right here like this so finally what I'm going to do with the tree trunk also is I'm going to draw some uh, some lines right here and I take the add point tool and I just draw a line right here make sure it's a bit in this this form right here then I take paint bucket tool click on it so that it's uh, so that it's black right now then I take uh, if I select one point right here and the point in the middle then I take the line width tool I click on it hold hold it and move to the right and you see it becomes thicker then I take the select shape tool select the line and go to stroke color and I move it this one down below so that it becomes transparent so now it looks like this and I'm going to make such a line like this also right here I just go to edit cop copy edit and paste move it right here and then I'm going to click right here on flip horizontally and move it right here there we go and I'm also I'm also going to paste uh, one for 
above go to edit and paste right here put it here above move it a bit right here and then I put it right here that looks good and then change oh we don't want to have that change it right here and kind of like this and then I just copy and paste this one also and I just flip it horizontally and I move it right here so now if I make the points invisible you see it now looks like this so now what we are going to do is we are going to make uh, these uh, kind of leaves uh, in front of the tree trunk so first what I do I just take the camera zoom tool and I just zoom out a bit so it's a little bit more smaller and I zoom in and I take the blob brush tool again and wait first I take the eyedropper tool and with that you can just select this object right here and then it has the same color again and then I take the blob brush tool and I just I'm just going to do the same thing again as I did before and this time it is above the tree trunk like this so make sure it's all filled I'm not sure if everything is getting filled right now you just have to guess it there are a few more here a few gaps right here um, well that looks good there we go now if I deselect you see it looks like this so finally what you can also do is uh, take the draw shape tool uh, with the same color and you just draw a circle right here make sure make the points visible and if I zoom in a bit more for it then you copy the object and paste it and then you move it right here and then you just simply uh, take the hide edge tool and you make these lines right here invisible so then you select both of the circles and then you go to edit copy edit paste and just uh, move them where you want them to be right here like this right here and then you do the same thing again make them a bit smaller and of course you can go on with this and put them everywhere you want them to have And you know what, I'm just going to uh, pause the video right now and then when I'm done I'm going to show you how it looks like. Okay, so I went ahead and uh, copied all these uh, objects right here. So, uh, if I go to file right now and I click on preview, you see it now looks like this. So there we go, that's how you uh, draw a tree in Anime Studio. Now, of course you don't have it doesn't have to look exactly like this you can create it in a different form uh, different tree trunks and different leaves and so on but the important thing is uh, to know how you can use these tools to make it more easy for you because I think if you're doing it like this it's you are going to save a lot of time uh, for yourself so yeah just play around with it and see what you can uh, make of it so anyway uh, that's the end of this tutorial uh, I hope you guys learned a lot about this and I hope to see you in the next video. If you like this video and you want to learn more about Anime Studio, then please subscribe to this channel. 
I put weekly tutorials on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. I also make animations myself. I upload them within one or two months, so if you're interested, you can watch those too. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.